This dog's family moved and left him on the curb. Weeks later, he was still waiting for their return. People are forced to give up dogs for a number of reasons. Whether they can't afford the care or are struggling with other demands, there are plenty of legitimate reasons why people have to hand over their canines. However, what's less easy to understand is why someone would dump their four-legged friend like trash. Sadly, though, that's exactly what happened to one unfortunate pooch in Detroit, Michigan. A family had moved out and left a pile of unwanted trash on the sidewalk. Among the contents were a set of drawers, a lampshade, and a blue formal mattress. However, it wasn't just a few possessions that the family had left behind. They had also dumped their dog, Boo. And not realizing he'd been abandoned, the loyal canine waited patiently outside for his owners to return. It's believed that the poor animal was there a whole month. One neighbor even claimed that the owners had even returned to the house. They'd picked up some more items, but once again, left Boo behind. However, the pit bull didn't give up hope and continued to wait patiently outside. Next, he was spotted by another neighbor who couldn't ignore his plight. Taking to Facebook, Michigan native Liz Marie posted a heartbreaking image of Boo on the discarded mattress. This picture absolutely breaks my heart. I'm literally in tears, she wrote. Meet Boo. This beautiful boy was left behind with the trash and belongings when his family moved out. He stayed right by their stuff and never left it, confused and lonely, added Marie. Her post soon spread around the local area. It's since been shared over 2,500 times and liked over 13,000 times. As a result, one of the people to take notice was Mike Diesel from Detroit Youth and Dog Rescue. Diesel rushed to the scene. Later, in an October 2016 interview with the Dodo, he explained how he found Boo just laying there being his loyal self. He added, the pillows were still on the mattress. Being the loyal dog he was supposed to be, he waited for his master to come back. And according to Diesel's colleague and founder of Detroit Youth and Dog Rescue, Devin Oliver, a neighbor had already rung a number of nearby animal charities. However, it seemed that no one would take Boo in. That's when the two men knew it was up to them to help the dog. Detroit Youth and Dog Rescue was founded by Oliver in 2014, and although it doesn't have an actual shelter, it still managed to rescue dozens of animals. The team do their good work by arranging foster homes for pets while they work on finding a more permanent home. As Diesel knew, he had to do something about Boo, but with Boo's heart set on his owner's return, he'd have to first win the doggy's trust. That first day then, Diesel spent 11 hours with the abandoned pet, hanging out and letting him know he was there. The animal lover also deployed a few overt tactics to win Boo over. Knowing the way to any dog's heart is through its stomach, Diesel tried to seduce Boo with fast food. He brought fried chicken and hamburgers and even treated the canine to a sausage McMuffin. After a few days, though, Diesel's mission was complete when he was finally able to tear Boo away from his former home. Firstly, Diesel simply got the docile doggy wearing a collar. Once I got that on him, I walked him around for half an hour, just being right there next to him, gaining that trust. After that, we sat on the ground on a blanket for an hour, he explained to the dodo. We kind of talked to each other to make sure we understood each other's feelings, Diesel added. He knew I wasn't going to hurt him. Before long, though, Diesel's perseverance paid off. Boo allowed Diesel to lift him into the car, and with that, they both rushed to the vets. But once at Grosbeck Animal Hospital, Boo received some bad news. He was diagnosed with heartworm, a parasite spread by mosquito bites. Diesel's now putting Boo through treatment because of the infection. Soon, however, he'll be fighting fit and ready to find a new home. What's more, Diesel later spoke of how he formed such an amazing bond with Boo. He said, as far as building up trust, that started Sunday the 16th at 2.30 p.m. when I arrived and stayed that night until 1 a.m. Talking and getting acquainted with Boo and feeding him different food items. Boo's warmed up to me in an amazing way already and truly shows and proves the love of the pit bull and trust that they have in humans. According to his rescuers, Boo has a warm personality. He's kind, gentle, and desperate for love. And although he's getting plenty of that from Diesel at the moment, he now needs a permanent home to call his own. Luckily, however, the dog has received lots of attention on the Detroit Youth and Dog Rescue Facebook page. The organization has posted numerous updates on Boo's rescue and subsequent treatment for heartworm, and as a result, it seems that the pooch has become a firm favorite 
among the page's followers. Indeed, his tragic tale has touched hearts around the world. One commenter from Melbourne, Australia said, Reading Boo's story breaks my heart. We've recently adopted a rescue dog and we're so grateful for people like you that do such a selfless job, ensuring these beautiful souls are given a new home filled with love. Someone shared a post about Boo and I sought you out to come donate for this precious baby, another user wrote. He deserves so much better. Thank you for finding and helping him. Please keep us updated about little Boo. And although there's been plenty of calls for updates, there's no news as to whether Boo's been adopted yet. However, with all the hype around the story combined with his adorable face, there's no doubt he'll be settling into a new home very soon.